our homes, how they're reflected back at us, what we put into them, what comes from us and how it reflects back at us can actually assist and aid in personal and self-development. That's my real big discovery, right? So I'm talking about emotions, but that's really the essence of the discovery is that we can use how we design, decorate and style our homes for our personal and self-development. Think about it, use it for when you're doing your next interior project, whether you're working with a designer or you're doing the work yourself. Many of us, most people can't afford interior designers. And this is why I want to bring this information is because there's a way that you can do it yourself. You can have some guidance that takes you beyond just go and look in a magazine and, and look at what other people are doing and just copy that. That's not what you want to do because that's not coming from inside. It's not it's not your energetic um input but of course eventually when you know how you want to feel in your place when you know what those emotions are then of course you go and you get inspiration but it narrows your field right down so i just want to say this very quickly i've got a background in coaching and i've got a background in nlp neuro-linguistic programming and all of that when i was studying and working as a coach years ago it was all about change and it's all about transformation and I believe that we can use our homes, how we design, decorate and style them as part of our self transformation, because we're always evolving. We are evolving. Our space will evolve. Over the years, I've lived in a one bedroom damp flat um, years ago where I had lots of stuff that was given to me. And then as I've evolved, as I've got older and I've got a bit more money behind me, then of course the, ch the space has changed and it's evolved with me. So that's my big discovery that I want to share with you. And what I want to share with you is a way that you can begin in your home to understand what you currently have, what's going on and how you want to change it. If you're about to do a project, move around your home first, go, go into the different rooms, check out how, ask yourself, uh, how do I want to feel in this place, in this place, in this place, 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 anyway, <laughs> what kind of emotions do I want to have in this room, in this space? And how can I use that to enhance my personal and self development? So for your new interior project, what I want you to do is I want you to get yourself a nice notebook. I was going to hold up a notebook and believe me, I've got thousands. Here's one I made a little earlier. <laughs> so get yourself a notebook and it's going to be your interior notebook. A lovely little A5, perhaps unlined, perhaps something that you can stick pictures in and make little drawings. Those kind of things would be perfect, really ideal. And then go to my website and download my 10 essential questions to transform your home. So the questions are split into two categories. The first category is about what you currently have, what's currently going on. The second category is about what you want and it's gonna ask you what emotions that you wanna feel. Complete the exercise, take some time, block some time out and complete the exercise, write it all down in your notebook. Allow, do, do a lot of allowing rather than searching for the right answer. Just allow whatever pops up, what comes up. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit of the story about how I came to that rather than doing it around the other way. I think I've mentioned before in another video, I had a really, really bad chronic long-term skin condition. It's still a little bit on my lip and a little bit in my eyebrows, um, but I managed to clear the majority of my face. And when we lived in the, our old house, we lived in a house just up the hill, um, big, big, massive, double fronted, gorgeous Victorian house, really beautiful. And um, I was probably the most unhappy. <laughs> I was probably the most unhappy because my skin dominated my thoughts. It dominated my life. It dominated every moment. And I didn't realise whilst we were there, I was just like, you know, I was just like this all the time. Just I woke up in the morning, just skin, 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 skin. Um, and it was only when we moved here and it came time to decorate in this place that I realised that I kind of look up and go, oh, right, I could use um, I could use what I'd learned with NLP and coaching and I could put that into interior and I could make that work for me in a way that went beyond just how I want the place to look. 
which is what I did. Did it cure my skin? No. Later on, I found Chinese medicine that helped. But it definitely gave me a real purpose and a passion for changing the home and being and bringing more of my person personality out. And that's what I want for you. I want you to know that you can be bolder, you can bring be, be more confident, you can bring more of your personality out if you think beyond how you want the place to look. I am going to end this video now. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I've really enjoyed making how you can design with emotion. That's what I call it. Um, to to um, enhance your personal and self-development. So please do like, subscribe, share this video with those that you love that will benefit. And I will see you inside the next video. Remember to go and download the 10 essential questions for how to transform your home from my website. The link is in the description and I will see you again.